This video is related to iMac Mailer, a mass mailing software made by FK Solutions. Today we're gonna be talking about sending messages. Let's start. It's very easy. When you need to send messages, you just need to press the send button on the document toolbar. And the program will show you the start sending dialog box. This dialog box lets you start sending over from the beginning or continue an interrupted sending. It also lets you start sending now or later at a different time which can be specified here in this box. I want to start it now and I want to start it over because it's a new mailing. I select those two options and I press the OK button. Now the program delivers our messages and we wait until it finishes. Sending completed successfully. We had only two recipients in our mailing list and uh, one of them failed and the other one succeeded. Press the OK button and take a look at the recipient list. The majority of recipients were disabled and this is the reason why they weren't used in the sending and uh, only two of those were actually used and uh, this address was successful and this recipient received the message and the other one failed and uh, probably because uh, this email address doesn't exist now let's switch to the email program and uh, check our messages. We received this message. Here it is. Uh, let's switch back to the iMac mailer. And uh, let's take a look at the message. We had a message that uses uh, macros in the subject and in the body. This product macro must be re replaced to actual product name and this first name must be replaced uh, to the actual recipient name and uh, order must be replaced with order number of actual recipient as well as website. And let's check uh, our email client again and make sure that all those uh, macros were replaced correctly. Take a look at this personal salutation. This uh, first name macro was replaced with the first name of our recipient. And um, this product macro was replaced with a real product, which is pen. This is the reason why the message is said that uh, we received tons of new pens today, as well as uh, in subject, new arrival of pens. And the uh, order number was replaced with the real order number. And uh, what else? Website URL. The website URL, which was stored in the recipient database, also was used in this message. Now let's switch back uh, to iMac Mailer. And now let's take a look at the recipient list. I intentionally disabled uh, the majority of uh, the recipients to exclude them from sending so that I could demonstrate you how uh, an interrupted sending can be resumed. I enable them back and now all the recipients are enabled. Take a look at the colors. This recipient is green. It means that this recipient have already received a message. And this recipient is red. It means that this recipient is bad. We may try, we may retry it once we hit sending again 
because who knows maybe this email address was just temporarily down and uh, upon the next sending it will be successful and all those black recipients which have uh, black color in the list we didn't even try to send messages to them so when you resume sending you must send messages to the black recipients and to the red recipients only skipping the green ones if you have your recipient list colored like this and if you press the send button on the document toolbar the, pro the program suggests you to continue sending not to start it over because you, you still have green recipients there and uh, if you choose this option and uh, press the OK button the program will uh, continue sending and will deliver email messages to the red and to the black recipients only we press the OK button and the program sends messages and successfully sends them so the total number of messages sent now 26 we have a successful 25 recipients and one faulty it turns out that this email address is definitely dead and uh, you can actually remove it from your database by using this minus button and all other recipients are totally fine and the last thing I want to mention is recipient attributes the reason why you see those recipients in different colors is because uh, every recipient has a hidden field in the database called attribute and uh, you really want to save those attributes especially if you interrupt sending and uh, half of your recipients uh, turn green and the other half is still black and you wish to send messages to those uh, black recipients later you really wish to, to save your recipient list by pressing the save button and all those, uh, all those attributes they will be saved along with your mailing list but sometimes you need to reset them for instance you finish sending and all the recipients turned green and you wish to reset them there is a button on the toolbar you can use to do so you press this button and all the recipients turn black again so you end up with a clean list and that was the other view of uh, sending thanks for listening